from Monsieur de Winter. Beloved Daphne du Maurier novel Rebecca has seen many film adaptations. The latest, starring Lily James, Army Hammer, and Kristen Scott Thomas, will be released on Netflix on October 21st. The thriller, about a young, naive woman who marries an older aristocrat but finds herself in the shadow of his late wife Rebecca, was an Oscar Best Picture winner for Alfred Hitchcock in 1940. But director Ben Wheatley believes his version to be the closest to the 1938 novel. I went back to it and kind of reread it and then I realized that the you know that this is the first script uh, for a, a, a feature version of the of the book that that had all the plot in it. You know, before it, there'd been things taken out and major story points which which which, which had been removed, and and I think that's what made it 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 feel like it was um, very morally complicated. You know, and in in the way that the the book itself is like a blueprint for thrillers, and uh, for for a lot of thriller cinema that comes after it, but it's still really. Um, groundbreaking in itself. The novel's exploration of interpersonal power dynamics fascinated star Lily James, who plays the young woman. Daphne du Maurier manages to smuggle in really like amazing kind of like um, exploration of men and women and and in and within and that power dynamic and obsession and jealousy and and the patriarchy and everything within a very addictive commercial gothic horror thriller romance. It's so clever. And Longtime fan of the book. British actress Kristen Scott Thomas said she was thrilled to be cast as the manipulative housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers. What it is like to be a woman is, you know, Daphne du Maurier writes brilliantly about that and the suspicions, and then there's a bit of magic in there and a bit of sort of black magic in there. And it's all a bit, it can get quite fanciful sometimes. And, and I think that, you know, people love those sort of stories when suddenly seem, something seems incredibly realistic and true and you can you really identify with it and then suddenly it sort of slips off into something a bit more of a of a fantasy and I think that that's where she's so um, uh, clever and, and where people still love to read her. <laughs>